Hi, dear students. Welcome back to Meridigiri Academic Assist. Hope you are staying happy. In our previous session, we have discussed basic aspect of data storage like file system and database management system. Okay, you know what file system is. It is a conventional method of storing and managing files. It can be manual method or it can be computer based. Okay, but database management system is a pure computer based record keeping system that is stored centrally on a machine that can be termed as the server machine okay and all other machines are termed as clients clients uses the service of server okay so that is an efficient method and we have seen number of problems with file system like redundancy and inconsistency those problems can be avoided using database management system okay then we have seen uh, uh, software uh, two ends of a software front end and back end front end means that is the uh, what interface through which we are interacting to a machine or to a software okay and back end that is a place where the actual data is stored and manipulated so managing back end is somewhat complex and interesting okay then we have seen data storage hierarchy with five elements or five components uh, components like uh, character first then field collection of characters then record collection of what fields then file collection of records and finally database collection of files okay then in today's session we will be looking some of the key terminologies in database management system okay uh, we have the first one database management system okay then we have database server okay finally we have rdbms these are some of the terminologies in database management system okay first database management system then we have database server and relational database management system in short rdbms okay we can start with dbms what is dbms it is database management system we know what a database is database is an organized collection of integrated files or simply it's a collection of organized files okay what is an organized files what is an organized file what it's a it's it's a group of files which are organized which are well structured which are well arranged okay if something is well arranged we can access it very easily okay that is the advantage of arranging something in a good manner okay so we can see the definition of dbms database management system is a software package okay that controls the creation maintenance and use of database okay database management system is a software package what is a software package it's not a simple or it's not a single software okay there will be number of softwares so it is a software package that controls the creation creation maintenance and use of database okay database management system controls the creation maintenance and use of database okay and some of the database management systems are oracle ibm db2 microsoft sql server microsoft access then mysql plus we have number of fox base sai base okay but these are some of the most commonly used database management system one is oracle ibm db2 d what ms microsoft sql server microsoft access and mysql okay these are some of the database management system softwares so dbms helps us to or dbms is a software package that helps us to create a database create the place simply creating the place okay 
then maintain maintain the database maintenance means performing operations we can think it of as what performing different kinds of operations okay uh, operations like what storing data retrieving data meaning taking back the data okay and using the database using the database for various purposes okay that is what actually a database management system is okay then we can look at database server actually what is a database server what is a server we know server is a high end machine okay it is a high configured machine which provides service to its clients we have a model client server model everything on internet works on client server model okay let us take an example facebook you are aware of uh, the working of facebook okay uh, for getting into facebook you have to sign in but before signing there is a process called sign up right sign up means registering registering your account or creating your account at the time of signing up you have to enter some information regarding yourself like your first name your last name your what a date of birth and some other credentials okay some other details are to be entered and after uh, entering and submitting it successfully your account will be created and how can you get into the account after signing in sign in okay or login okay sign in at the time of sign in what or okay at the time of sign up just after submitting your details your data will be passed to facebook server okay or facebook database facebook's database okay so your all your data related to your account is already stored in the facebook uh, database and at the time of signing in sign in you entering your username and password right then uh, after uh, what sign in at the time uh, when you press uh, sign in it will be passed to the facebook server actually you are acting as a client okay you are uh, what uh, sending your uh, username and password to facebook server okay and it will be matched with your existing uh, details and and if it is matched successfully your page will be returned your facebook page will be returned and there will be so many photos so many videos so many other things stored in your facebook account actually all these are stored there in the database database of facebook okay so that architecture is called client server architecture okay client server architecture we are acting as clients and the place where our data is stored and manipulated is called server machine okay there are number of servers located uh, uh, in different parts of the world okay yeah so that is what client server model is and database management system works on client server architecture okay so or everything on internet works on client server architecture okay yeah then we can look at database server okay you know what a server is then what is a database server a server and a database okay database servers are dedicated computers that holds the actual database and run database management system and related softwares okay database servers are special dedicated computers what are dedicated computers computers which are designed to perform a specific task okay not like our computer our computer is multitasking which can uh, perform many different tasks okay but servers database servers are dedicated computers computers which are designed to perform only database operations or database related operations okay that hold the actual database okay that hold the actual place where we have stored the data or where we store the data okay and run database management system the software itself and related what softwares or applications okay that is what actually database servers are and uh, database server provides service to its clients okay so in every database there will be a database server as we have seen in our previous example 
uh, our database server will be located there in the main office in our school okay the actual software as well as the database server both are stored at the main office in our school okay so it is somewhat a very simple concept then we can move on to rdbms it is somewhat uh, an interesting topic okay as uh, we have seen in the case of dbms and database server of course rdbms what is r stands for r stands for relational okay relation or relational rdbms means you know what dbms is database management system and rdbms means relational database management system okay what is that rdbms means relational database management system it is a database management system that is based on relational data model okay relational data model what is a data model 